What is up guys? Very, very sorry for the wind. I apologize, but we are back and um, we're actually taking a little run into town because I had something I wanted to show you that really plays into the actual build. And uh, we've discussed it prior to this, but it has to do with the brakes and of course the beater. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go. All right, so as I was previously alluding to, there are more. You have three more out here, right? <laughs> this is the graveyard the second graveyard but actually the reason we're here is this car right here and this was actually a really good find he he scored it last week so what the plan is is jeremy's getting the hydro boost and all that i don't even know if this hood will come up jeremy's gonna get the hydro boost and everything off of this car and I'm getting the door for the beater and gonna be running these edge car brakes. So instead of going with the big fancy brakes like I wanted to, we're just gonna go with these. It's gonna work for now and go ahead and get the five lug taken care of. Why? Because it's here. Let's see if this thing's open. But yeah, not too bad. No, that's not gonna work. There she is. So yeah, tons of parts here. Uh, the rear end's already sold. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, rear end's already sold, and he's actually got the uh, engine and transmission pretty much sold too, I think, so it's a good score. Anytime you can find a build like this, or excuse me, a car like this, buy it, because the parts are worth it, trust me. So I actually thought this hood was bad, but it's not. It's got the GT scoop. So we could totally pimp the beater out with this car. I mean, how cool would that be? But it's running, driving, 4.6 car. Even has a fancy cold air intake. How about that? Too cool. <laughs> but yeah, gonna make very good use of this car. And if you're wondering about the two others out here, this poor thing, there's like nothing left. It was hit real hard in the front. But not much here. White on white GT vert. Poor thing. Everybody's like, oh, Fox bodies are a dime a dozen. Well, you know what? A lot of them end up like this and you never see them again. Here we got another. I think this was a GT. I don't know. Yep, GT. This was a 4.6 car too, or is a 4.6 car. So yeah, that is the word. If you find a Fox or a Mustang in general, V8 car especially, buy it up because the parts are hard to find and getting harder to find. But this one right here is going to work out really well.
So doing a little bit of the nasty today. The dreaded heater core. Got the dash out. Nothing, nothing too scientific about it. Take the console out first, yank the dash, and uh, got all these bolts on the inside. Jeremy's getting the other ones in the firewall. Pull that out, new heater core, new evaporator. Might as well do them all while you got the dash out, because I swear to you, you don't want to pull it again. It just made sense because the column was out and everything else, so might as well do it now. Save yourself a little time. It's a mess. Jeremy, do you like pulling dashes out? I don't mind. You don't mind? No, I don't mind at all. He doesn't mind. What about you, Gary? Nah. I don't like it either. I do the work all the time. But see, Jeremy is a seasoned technician. I, on the other hand, am barely a shade tree, so I don't know. But it's interesting. I like it. All right, so these are your inside bolts for your heater box, HVAC case, whatever you want to call it. Just these two. Getting those out. And shouldn't be anything else holding this thing. Oh, she's ready to come out? No, we're gonna get this other one off. Oh, that's right. That's it, though. It's last. So here's your nude shot of the 92. Everything's gone. There's my pretty speakers. Yeah, good times. That's just, you know, we're going to paint that since it's red. Right, let's put it back. See, everybody thought that because there was overspray on these that we we're going to leave them red. No. Just trust me. Well, trust you. One, one thing at a time. Yeah. So, basically, got the HVAC case up here. Pulled the rubber off. Pulled rubber off there. Condenser, or condenser, evaporator, <laughs> heater core. As you can see, my heater core, while it wasn't it leaking, it was shit. So. See, it comes out right here right these screws then you got to cut this and these are a complete a bastard to do inside the car yeah oh that's the other thing the evaporator you got to cut the top of this to get it out as you can see this car has never been done before but that's how you actually get it out big pain yeah here you go Get that trim too, right quick. There she be. One very, very old heater core. Wasn't leaking. Look at that. Hold on, I'll pull that out. There she be. As you can see, it was, it's not leaking. Wow. Vallejo, that's Ford. Where's the date? There's gotta be a date on here. Okay, well, no date. But anyway, that is the original Ford heater core. And if you know anything about a Fox body, you know that they will leak and uh, they will go bad and you have to change them. They're a pain in the ass to do in the car, which is why we got it on the table. But. Pretty damn clean. You wanna make sure this seal's good. Clean all this up real good. Make sure it's sealed in there. You won't have any issues. All right, show you how to get the evaporator out.
There she is. Fresh and clean. Brand new evaporator. Drop her back in. See, the old one actually was not leaking, but you might as well if you're in there. And it's like, what, 26 years old now? 25 years old now? What year is it? 92. And junk on it. We need epoxy. We are going to have to have epoxy. Oh, well. So, yeah, everything is going to be new in there. Won't have to go back in later, pull the dash later. Uh, everything's going to be fresh, ready to go. And got rid of all that red paint that we had on there. Look at that. Yeah, we need to go spray them, huh? No, no, no. No, I mean these. Oh, yeah. Spray these yeah, we got to paint those. So we'll paint those, get rid of all the overspray, and uh, job will be done. Yeah. It's a process. Good. Uh, process. Nah, it looks good. is kind of running a little bit long um, simply because it's a long project but um, we're gonna finish this up in the next video and <sighs> another step is gone so in the meantime if you like this video please shoot me a big thumbs up uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button I appreciate everybody that supports the channel and supports what we do here a lot of work goes into this and uh, trust me when you say when I say there is a lot more coming um, not only you know the finishing up and the dynoing and the drag testing and all that of, of my car but we actually have several ridiculous cars coming into the shop that are going to be built and i'm going to be documenting all of that so make sure you smash that subscribe button because i promise you you will not want to miss what's coming and no they're not all foxes stay tuned